we're going to try to put these two hides on the truck so that we can move them off the farm because we're in two weeks we're going to have 2,000 people here and we need to remove the bees so that they don't cause any problems. So I'm uh, it's early in the morning it's 7 a.m. it's nice and cool and so the bees are nice and calm but this smoke is going to help make sure that they're calm See that purple flower? Yeah. That's a thistle. Mm -hmm. It hurts. People don't like it. It's a weed, but it makes beautiful honey. Mm -hmm. This is one of the hives that we just brought in. And this is a good area for the bees because there are several wildflowers here that they're going to be able to get nectar to make honey. One of the wildflowers is the thistle right here, this purple flower, and that is going to make a beautiful honey. And down here we have goldenrod blooming along the forest edge, and that's going to make a honey. As you go through the seasons, different flowers are going to be blooming. So we're leaving summer right now, which has been the clover. This clover here has been a source of nectar for the bees during the summer. But it's dying, and now we're going to the fall, so things like the thistle and the goldenrod are going to be good honey flowers. There's another flower right back here Here is honeysuckle, and that's another good honey source. And then we have a flower right back here. So see, these bees will now be working these wildflowers to make honey as a fall crop. She's licking your finger. Do you have any pets at home? Two guinea pigs. Two guinea pigs, what are their names? Blackie and Orangey. Can you talk to them? Yeah. <laughs> they even talk. 